Hello YouTube and welcome back. This is Kermit the Frog and you are watching Dare to Game. Today we are looking at some more specific details for the new DLC for Kingdom Come Deliverance, Band of Bastards. So for starters, what most people are interested in is the release date, and the date they have given us is early February 2019. So not as early as I would like, but not too far off. So I can't wait to get right into that. All right, so taking a look at content, uh, and from what we saw in the teaser, it appears that we were right, and that this is going to be a very combat-based DLC. In fact, apparently there is a combat test at the beginning of the DLC before you can even start it. And apparently it can be started shortly after the Baptism of Fire quest in the main story. So about halfway through the main story you can do this DLC. And apparently there is about 15 minutes of cutscene content recorded for this DLC. But that doesn't necessarily mean that it will be too short because the DLC does seem to be pretty gameplay focused. So while there's not much recorded uh, cutscene content, there does seem to be quite a bit of quest content and gameplay. So at least there's that. Alright, and so what we're looking for, for story-wise, you know, the story content we're going to be getting, without spoiling too much, in the teaser I saw quite a bit of new armor, and maybe new weapons, as well as a new group-based fast travel type. So that looks interesting, and also a confirmed new set of armor that can be obtained in this DLC, although it is apparently pretty tough to get. Well, we'll see about that. The story seems to be that Sir Radzig sends you, Henry, to help out this nobleman, Sir Whatsit, and his group of mercenaries, otherwise known as the Band of Bastards. Since they are apparently not from the area, they need a guide, and since they are trying to fight the rampant crime around Bohemia, they also could use as many swords as possible, so Henry is perfect for the job. The teaser showed at least one large-scale battle in a field, so here's hoping this DLC adds a bunch of dynamic combat content. So lastly, in their stream and also the teaser, they didn't mention any price, but my guess would be the $7 to $10 range that the previous DLCs have been. Like I said earlier, this DLC becomes available right after the Baptism of Fire quest, so if you want to play it, you'll need to be at least that far in the game. Also, it is apparent that you will need to know how to read in-game, and have a decent grasp on the in-game combat system. So since this is only about a month away, you best get to training right now. You may notice that I did not share any gameplay or the teaser from Band of Bastards. That is because I am avoiding any spoilers for myself, and I would recommend that you do the same. But if you do not want to heed my advice, go ahead and jump over to Warhorse Studios' Twitch page to check out the stream. Or perhaps by now, it's on YouTube, so you can probably just head over there. In any case, that'll do for me. Bye. Congratulations on making it to the end of the video. If you did, I can assume you liked the content, and hopefully you'll subscribe and turn on the notification bell. If you haven't already, check out these links I have on the screen to see me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. If you like my content and would like to support what I do here, there's a link to my Patreon account in the description, and a donation would be much appreciated. In any case, thanks for watching, and have a nice day.